It's a half-sized replica of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C., and it's called The Wall That Heals. And for the rest of the week, the wall is in Myrtle Beach. Today, photojournalist Michael Walter learned the memorial has a way of impacting a lot of people. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light? They call it The Wall That Heals. Well, it does. It's so powerful and such a reminder of the sacrifice that young people made for this great nation. Stripes and bright stars. It's a very disturbing thing that 58,000 young American boys lost their lives in the Vietnam War. The ramparts we watched it's not just a memorial, it's a memorial with names. Everybody reads numbers and it just, it's a number, and you forget by the time you walk away. But when somebody comes up here and reads this name, there's a face to it. It's so powerful that, uh, you know, it, it brings tears to your eyes. That our flag was still there. A lot of these guys did not want to go, but they were called by their nation and they went anyway. It chases a lot of demons. Sometimes it's hard for people, veterans, to come back out, but once they do, uh, they're glad they did. For the land. It's a time for me to reflect. It's my time. And that's what some of the veterans are looking for is their time. The wall was escorted from